and now, okay, I think I have talked a lot and maybe you won't believe me because I'm just talking <laughs> on my own uh, words, but why don't we uh, invite a Michael and So Feng that So Feng can tell me how to actually pronounce your name properly. They will share their experience as movers. So let's start with Michael. Michael, please um, just introduce yourself, share with us like where you're from, what you have been doing. I know you are super inspiring already. You and your community have run different workshops offline and offline in mainly in different communities as well. So please, over to you. Thank you so much, Carla. So once again, good afternoon or good morning or good evening to everyone, to aspiring movers and my fellow movers here today. So as Carla has already mentioned, uh, my name is Michael and I am from the beautiful, beautiful state of Mizoram in India. And if you want to know where is Mizoram, it's in the northeast side of India and we share border with Bangladesh and Myanmar. So that's where I am. So first thing first, the, I am a research scholar. So my research is on the production of biodiesel, which can uh, have the potential to replace this conventional diesel. Because burning of diesel, it causes so much environmental pollution, which further causes climate change. So we are working on the production of more eco-friendly uh, uh, biodiesel. So that's what my uh, main uh, research is going on. And also I'm a part-time uh, teachers, I'm a part-time lecturer and I teach in a, in, in a college. So uh, the, uh, I first came into uh, Movers uh, program. I, my, in, my introduction to Movers program was actually at a, a, a Asia Pacific Youth Exchange, which takes place in 2020 in Bangkok, Thailand. And prior to that, I have uh, kind of uh, uh, get familiar with uh, sustainable development goals as one of my papers in, in my college. So while I was finishing my papers on SDG, I always kind of think uh, what I can do to my fellow youth who has no prior knowledge of SDGs. And a little background about, uh, about my state, uh, there is uh, the education system in my state is not that advanced. So the education system is that you learn from the textbook, you do the assignment, you take the exam, you pass, you are promoted to the next class. There is no co-curricular activities, there is no uh, kind of uh, volunteering. So there is no kind of uh, uh, awareness about other things which is happening around the world. So uh, that is why I, I really wanted to uh, spread awareness among the youth in my state. So I have uh, a group of friends. So it was five of us. We started a kind of an organization which is called Soikan. So it is a Mizo word. It is called Soikan and it means to uplift. And uh, we have started this project wherein we wanted to promote the local, uh, the local entrepreneurs because, because of COVID-19, there are so many youths who make their own stuff. For example, who make their own pickles, who make their own chocolates, who make their own lip gloss and started to sell to everyone else. So we kind of wanted to promote those kind of youth who, are, uh, who have an entrepreneurship mindset. And we also wanted to spread awareness among, about SDGs among the youth in my state. So we kind of uh, thought of that project and we presented in the Asia Pacific Youth Exchange. And that's how I met Din Long DL. So he, he, he teaches about uh, sustainable development goals and about the pillars of sustainable development goals and in details about the sustainable development goals. So that is how I come in connection with the movers. And then way past 2020, now it comes to 2021. It's just uh, on February this, uh, this year that I, just like you guys, I have, uh, I have started an onboarding calls. So from that time, they have welcomed me with an open arms to be a member of the movers. And so from February to uh, April till today, I have conducted four uh, workshops on uh, sustainable development goals with the help of Anisha, who is the Indian coordinator, so much in conducting this, uh, in, uh, in, in conducting the movers workshop. And then we also about to conduct the movers workshop on climate action this Sunday. And what I have learned from conducting this movers workshop is that just now Carla has mentioned train the trainers. I have a life experience of how the, uh, the people who we conduct the workshop actually teaches us. 
because one of the main thing in uh, in Mizoram in my state is the agriculture. Most of the people, 60%, have the main occupation as agriculture, and how they uh, do the farming is uh, it is it's a it's a shifting cultivation. It is also called as a zoom cultivation, whereas they, where they clear down the forest, they cut down the forest and they plant their crops. And the, one of the main uh, 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 drawbacks of this June cultivation is deforestation and losing the fertility of the land. So when I just think about it, it's just against the SDGs, against about the life on land, against about uh, it's against the climate action. So I teach that. But what actually the, the attendees in the movers workshop kind of teach me back is that they already know that June cultivation is bad. It causes deforestation, which later causes climate action but they cannot do anything about it because they do not have funds and they don't know any other modes of agriculture. So actually that opens so much, uh, that's opened my mind about just how, just saying is just like thinking that June cultivation, their type of agriculture is bad. It's not enough. It's about how we can, how we can shift those type of cultivation or that type of agriculture to more eco-friendly. So that is one example how the attendees of the movers workshop actually teach me it's not saying that this is bad you have to practice this it's about going in depth what the government are actually doing what your local government what your local state government is actually doing in pro in preventing those type of agriculture so i think uh, that is one of my key intakes as one of example how the trainees actually teach me and I think that most of you will be so much uh, will have uh, will face so much experience, and I think uh, if you conduct uh, workshops like later on movers workshop, I think you can have so much stories more than me to share with your uh, other fellow movers, which we will which who will join the onboarding course later in the next month. So I think that's all my stories for now. So thank you so much, guys, and let's hope we can know some more about ourselves, learn so much for from others and yeah let's have a great time here thank you so much wow thank you thank you so much that's so cool to hear everything and yeah i totally agree with you every time you conduct a workshop even if it's the same topic you get to learn a lot from the participants as well so they all come with you know their own initiatives or their own way or seeing things so you always get to learn something new so absolutely and yeah it's great that you see the impact on on them and you see clear clearly how this program can benefit them on their journey as well so no michael i'm super happy to hear that um this uh program has like means a lot just so you know we didn't like ask michael to say anything he's just here sharing what he thinks about the program it's not that he's reading a script that we sent so no thank you we're very very proud of you and you have been doing um being part of this program for not so long as well so you can also see that you get to see this going and creating your own community and such very very quickly as well Okay, so now let's invite Sothen to share with us. So, and probably you can also tell me how to pronounce your name properly. So let's see. Okay, uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. So uh, everyone hear me clearly? Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As now I'm in, oh, I'll start with video. Okay. So do you see my background now? It's like, it's like in a forest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, everyone clear? So yes. if, if you, you cannot yes, hear yes. Me, please let me know because yeah, yeah. Uh, now my internet is not really stable. I really uh, come so far from my uh, house to get the internet connection here. So thank you everyone for uh, joining us today. And I would like to share about my journey in the mover. Everyone, are you ready for, for that? Okay, you can pronounce my name, so 10. Uh, okay. let, let's start with the story. 
uh, from my uh, my starting journey of mover. So uh, so I I uh, I am uh, in the team. So in AYO Cambodia, ASEAN Youth Organization, that uh, my team with uh, with Maria and uh, Jaya and Udom have created the the uh, the organization in Cambodia, and then we uh, get in touch with uh, Din Long and uh, meet each other, and we uh, introduce each other, and Din Long and my team. Uh, have uh, negotiated with each other and uh, share with each other about the mover program, and we 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 know that the program of mover is really important for a youth, and we bring the mover program to our teams. So so far, so far, uh, we we uh, conduct the mover program uh, as a team. So even we are three people co coordinate and facilitate in the, meet uh, in the meeting and in the workshop, but we roll as a team. We discuss with each other, sharing the perspective and what we have learned and also lesson learned together from uh, the mover workshop. So, uh, this is the story of uh, the mover that uh, my teams have started. And also, uh, thank you to uh, uh, Din Long and Linka that always uh, provide a lot of uh, technical support and also uh, help a lot. So, uh, so I, will, I will tell you about my uh, mover workshop. So we, we conduct uh, many workshops, uh, as I remember. So more than uh, three physical workshops in the rural area, and more than five, five online workshops. So let me uh, tell you about my experience with a, a physical workshop. So, you know, uh, Cambodia, even uh, we are developing uh, now, but in the rural area, not uh, really have uh, a lot of resource and a lot of uh, uh, like people who, who have uh, uh, money to access to the education and to the knowledge. And they don't really understand a lot about the, how to do business, how to, to help the community, how to fight again the poverty. So being uh, teams in uh, AYO, we uh, really want to provide the knowledge of SDG and social entrepreneur to the youth in order to develop their, their, their community. So we understand that by providing social entrepreneur knowledge, skill, and uh, some knowledge about the uh, gender equality and uh, the other knowledge with the SDG. Uh, the Jews have understand how they the importance of the solidarity in their community. So we mobilize the Jews become the group and they they want to do the business a small business to help the community. So with the first with the first uh, the first mover workshop that bring us to uh, create library the, uh, a library uh, there you know in the cow so the first the first uh, mover workshop there and the first uh, created the first created a library so now we create the team uh, called uh, share books, share knowledge, and the team now reached uh, more than 20, uh, 35 people in the team are collecting the book. And we, uh, we opened the library in the cow successfully, and now we, uh, the, the team still continue to open and build the other library in the rural area. Now we're planning to bring the book into the indigenous 
a community in Ratnagiri of Cambodia. After a COVID-19 situation in Cambodia, it's better and we will bring uh, those books and uh, uh, provide technical uh, knowledge to the youth in the community. And our, our team, uh, uh, our youth team, as the volunteer of our team, they uh, still collect the book, keep in the house. Also, they uh, fight again the uh, like the thing that really uh, make them uh, cannot collect the book, but they they still sometimes uh, facing uh, dangerous from COVID nineteen to uh, get the book from the donor. I really uh, appreciate them because they have the uh, good man to uh, share the love and share uh, the knowledge and in order to develop uh, the community in the rural area. So, you know, we provide the, the uh, workshop, physical workshop in Ratanakiri. So in Ratanakiri, the Jews after, after learn from our team with the social entrepreneur skill and understand about the problem in SDG and how uh, they can help the community. Now they uh, come uh, as the group, create a restaurant to earn the money for support their community. And they also plan uh, to organize the guests, uh, the homestay, homestay and uh, the the uh, recreation uh, place for the uh, for the for the tourists tourists to uh, visit those community so they also invite us so sincerely i and din long and maria uh, plan to go to ratanakiri but uh, it fell because of covid 19 so if everyone want uh, to visit those community and the restaurant there and enjoy the uh, food there, uh, if you come to Cambodia, just let me know. If you want to go there, I will bring you there. But we believe that we will go there with uh, Din Long. Uh, if Linka want to go there, uh, after COVID-19 situation in Cambodia is better, you also, want, uh, also can go there with us. And so for that Bat Dambong, uh, Bat Dambong uh, physical workshop, uh, they really uh, find out that uh, SDG is really important and they want to create the sample community, like plastic free. They, they promise to, uh, for their community, will uh, get the plastic free and they uh, create the, like the, the thing from the uh it's like uh, the craft the crafts that made up uh like they call in Cambodia it's like the grass so like some some uh recycled materials so they are now uh like uh, even the the situation of COVID is facing them they still like meeting online and uh, still processing uh, the community. And for the online workshop, like it, uh, like a little bit challenge for us, like to adapt to the new technology, like using the Zoom platform. And, uh, but we have learned a lot about uh, the mobile workshop with the technology, with supporting from uh, Din Long and Linka, and it really uh, helpful to uh, juice to learn from this workshop to share the perspective on the issue that happening and share the perspective that they want to see the world they want. So, uh, you know, my uh, motivation from this this uh, the mover workshop is really uh, put myself to challenge the thing, to make the world I want, the world my uh, team want to see. So in conclusion, uh, MUA make us accept the challenge and make the world we want to see. 
So I really uh, motivate you to join the mover together, sharing perspective, sharing uh, what you want to see the world you want. Okay, thank you everyone. Wow, thank you so much for sharing. So inspiring to hear everything that has happened. You should feel super proud also of everything you have done and for your community and to inspire other youth to take to take um, the step to actually go there and create. We're very, very proud of you.